Here we are with Mario. Hi, everybody. Uh, hi, Mario. Stumbled across his art. I love the start. It's a little bit. It's quite abstract with a bit of surrealism in there, maybe. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. yeah. A bit of rustic going on there. For what inspired you to become an artist, Mario? Um, I suppose in the day and age that we live in, oh. uh, but also uh, uh, from early childhood. Uh -huh. So it's something that I always used to do and uh, stopped at the age of 18, had to pursue a career oh. um, in psychology within mental health, learning disability. Really? But then oh. um, after a few years traveling around the world a little bit and, and working within uh, mental health, I decided to take the hobby a little bit further right. and maybe put all the knowledge together and make it a little bit more solid for for spectators and public. And, right. and only recently we started in Hyde Park and people have shown interest, which is good. good, and good there's good. been a few works sold here and there, which is again... People, part people of say to me, art is the hardest career to have. Yes. How would you, why would you choose this career over the other one which you've obviously pursued before? Uh, uh, this one, one reason is because this one has a tangible result, whereas work um, within certain areas has is more qualitative, whereas this can be quantitative and qualitative. Right, so your right. work not only gets appreciated straight away, uh -huh. but also lasts for many generations to come. Right, but right. But also it's a, it's a good way, they say a picture says a thousand words, good way of people getting to people to think yeah, by the yeah. work and, and get a good work in everybody's living room and uh, makes them think, makes them uh, change their mood, makes them feel differently. Yeah, yeah. So it's again another way of contributing to people's mental health if you want to put right, it, just uh, in a different way. I like that, I like that. Um, obviously I interview a lot of people who do art, some obviously try it out and it doesn't work, some keep continuous. When did you realize you couldn't turn away from this art? Uh, talking to a lot of people, it really helps people um, have been here for over 40, 50 years. There are some really? people who are, yeah. and um, they advise you to stay within the, the, you know, the core and the values of art. So not to forget your principles and uh, values. Um, it's almost a belief by itself. Almost right. after a while, your canvas and, and your um, palette and everything becomes your family. So wow. it becomes part of your body. It's an extension to your mind, soul, body. You I don't like think that. of it as a separate entity anymore. I so, like that. Um, again, it's another another thing that you keep very close to your heart. Do you have inspiration from Dali's and the Dada's? Absolutely. And who absolutely. is your favorite so, free or um, favorite artist? Well, um, uh, they have to. I'm very conservative when it comes to art. So the old masters, I would say, uh, Belafquez or Goya okay. uh, in Spain. Um, also over here, I mean, the early works of Picasso were, were, were very good. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be shy to say that, you know, unfortunately, a certain category of artists have really a bit, sorry my language, taken the piss in the last hundred years. So, yeah, yeah. Um, Modern artists you like Anything will do. Uh, <laughs> Whereas uh, I say it's got to be the best. You, know, you, yeah. you got you to gotta have a story to tell. You got to, yeah, yeah, I have my own views about certain types right. of art. I love Goya because yeah. I, I yeah. documented, you know the painting he's got where the, the guy's eating his baby? Yes, of and course. And it yeah. replicates the economies and yeah. the governments of today. You know, yeah. so I love Goya. Yeah, so cl classics to me are always the answer. I always uh, try to look up the old masters and uh, how they apply their their thoughts and, and you know how, how it's still uh, so valuable and, and so mysterious and what's the word enigmatic. Their work is very enigmatic. Right. It doesn't die over a year or, or two years Classical. or a month. Or uh, it, it'll always stay. So they are to really my own inspiration. Sorry, yeah. I was going to say, last question I ask yeah. is quite a deep one. As an artist, take it whatever direction you want to. Would you die for your art? I, I would. Okay. I would definitely die for my art. Definitely. No <laughs> doubt. <laughs> I yes, like that. Thank you very much. Thank Pleasure. You. Appreciate your time.